Hey everyone, welcome back to Hillside Harvest Homestead. Today it's a little bit of a nippy morning, um, kind of springtime feeling weather. We've got behind me, we've got oh, glacier like feeling coming off the mountains. We've got a little bit of snow and some nippy wind going on. So I hope you can hear me over the wind. Uh, but we are super anxious to get our garden going. Um, Anthony is behind me in the garden and he's starting the uh, rototilling of the garden and so we're just going to start getting the ground broken up for now. I am working inside on getting some seeds started that will start growing inside since we don't have a greenhouse and um, so that's just kind of what we're doing today. Anthony's breaking up the ground where we would have had a greenhouse. I just don't think we're going to get to a greenhouse this year. So we're going to go ahead and just break up the ground there and plant seeds in the ground there. Um, and then hopefully next year we'll have the finances that we can put up a greenhouse. There is a little greenhouse that was put on our property um, before we got here. But unfortunately, this little greenhouse was is not good for starting seeds in. Um, it isn't sealed off, and so at night when it freezes, um, it will still freeze in here. All of that, that's not sealed in. Um, also, um, on the other side, there is a window, um, and we don't have a way, I mean, it just has a screen on it. Don't have a way to close that. But anyways, we just use it to store a few things in. So since it doesn't get real humid here, it doesn't get humid here at all, but because we don't have that humidity and um, it doesn't quite get warm enough, it's not quite the kind of weather that cucumbers really like. So um, what I'm, really hoping what we're planning on doing now is just having our cucumbers in here for the summer. We're going to start um, the cucumbers inside. Um, in fact, I've got stuff ready to go inside right now that I'm putting seeds together and um, just getting those going. And we're going to keep those in the house until they get bigger and until it's time to start planting. We'll probably plant um, mid-May is what we're thinking. Um, so we still have a little more than a month to go at this point. So, um, but we'll try to grow cucumbers in this little greenhouse um, in the summertime once uh, danger of frost is all gone. So Anthony is tilling the garden and I am getting some seeds going inside. So we're in here, my daughter and I are in here in the kitchen, on the kitchen counter, putting seeds together. And um, what we're going to start is cabbage. 
uh, winter squash, um, cauliflower, and then cucumbers. So, and I just got these um, simple pans. They've got a pan underneath them, and then you've got your um, simple little planters. Of course, they have holes on the bottom so that um, any water that's in the pan will be absorbed into the dirt. We just got some regular old um, seeds starting potting mix. Um, and then uh, we'll have this on top um, to provide kind of the greenhouse effect. And so I've got a window um, that's a nice kind of like bay window, um, sort of. <laughs> and so it will provide the sunlight that we need for these guys. Um, I'm considering we do have a heat pad to put underneath. Um, we only have one though. And I'm thinking that I might use that for the cucumbers um, just because they need that warmth. So I'm thinking about that. Um, probably will do that. But anyways, I was going to spray the water down with sp or spray the dirt down with a uh, spray bottle. Spray bottles aren't working. So we're just going to have to um, just put some water in there. Obviously, we don't want to get the dirt so wet that it's just mud in there. Um, just keeping it moist is all that we need to do. All right, so we're gonna put our winter squash in first. And I bought um, these little plastic labels as well so that I can keep track of, you know, what what's what. So, um, done. Um, I may do another one. Um, we'll see. Um, I may, I don't want to plant more than what we need, but I don't want to plant fewer than what we need either. So I'll need to think about it. I may probably do another pan worth, um, out of these items. But anyways, um, I took these, um, tags down just because putting them up, they're not going to fit with this lid. So for now, they're just going to simply go right here. Um, and then later when we plant them, we can stick them in the ground then. So, but that is all. And then I'm going to just make sure that the water or that the dirt stays moist. And I will go get a spray bottle and just um, keep the dirt moist that way. Um, and just spray it a little every day to make sure that it stays moist, um, but not waterlogged. And then I'll put this in my window and they'll get that nice, wonderful sunshine without the cold being outside. All right, so here's my little greenhouse. I have um, some grow lights above it just in case the window light isn't enough, but they're on my little windowsill. And then I've got um, some uh, tomato plants that I could resist at the store the other day. They're just cherry tomatoes but uh, we'll put those outside the front door um because they'll get plenty of sunlight there but it's still too cold for them to be out there um at night and today it was snowing strangely enough so uh too cold for them right now 
But anyways, these are them. I'll keep them nice and moist. Make sure that those seeds uh, stay moist. And there they will grow until they're ready to go outside. Thanks for stopping by the Triple H today. I hope that you all are enjoying um, taking this walk with us on this homestead journey. Um, and I hope that you all like, subscribe, and don't forget to share the videos with your friends if you're enjoying them. Hope that you all are having a wonderful day.